So Shana, guess who's out here, y'all? Shayna. Y'all ask for her. Y'all ask about her all the time, and she's finally here with me today. And look what we got here in our hand. Nice yellow perch. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, and look. Get a kick out of this. Is that the one I threw out there? There's two in there. I was like, no. I yeah. think it might be. Yeah, he's up. He's down there. Look, I might have threw that. Hold on, let's see. Dude, he's eating this this Dude, fish. Look at that belly though. This fish right here is eating up a storm. Look, hold on, he got something else in his stomach. He got another shad. Or something else. Yeah, he got a whole fish in there. Let me see. There you have it. Don't drop him because we're keeping that. But all I'm doing is just, you know, three-way rig. Y'all know how I do my rigs when I'm out here fishing for pan fish. So yeah, all I'm doing. And I do have uh minnows too, look, 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 so. Look, look, I got it. What was that? Oh, what is that? Let me see. That looks like a uh, goby. Oh, it was dissolving in his, uh, that's crazy. So that yellow perch is out here feeding up a storm. All right. I got two rods right here. I usually have another rod over here with uh, a minnow on it, actually. I don't, honestly, I think the minnows is like motivating, but I don't, they haven't, they haven't ate my minnows. So as soon as I threw, and I have actual minnow, minnows too, like, you know, look at that. Ooh, it's cold, Jesus, that water is cold. So I'm just sitting here watching these rods and see if they get a bite. I have my uh, ultralight rod right here, sitting at the bottom um, with the minnow, and then I have my uh, medium rod, Ugly Stick GS2 with the Nightcrawler. So that's what I caught it on, I caught it off the GX2. So y'all already know what it is, stay tuned. All right, we got another yellow perch. Look at that thing right there. Another yellow perch off the night crawler. They doing better off the night crawler than the actual minnow. And we have a stringer here. He actually swallowed my hook. Minnow, uh, uh, yellow perch are known for swallowing some 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 bait, boy. And they ain't even got to be large. They just known for swallowing it. And this is literally really on the smaller nice. side. But we'll do away with them. Now I trust Shana to be able to like. Oh yeah, it's supposed to stay like yeah, yeah. It's supposed to stay like this. You you, you move that out of there. Yeah, you don't have to. Once it's on, they just drop on the top of each other. See what I'm saying? Yep. Well, all right. We got a nightcrawler here, but you know what? I caught a couple of them. I think I just best that I put a fresh one down here because I think the I think they're gonna stay kind of aggressive. So I don't want to just make sure I give them what what they want. I'm just fishing adjacent to this uh, dock right here. Because it just seemed like this is where all that... Uh-oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Yeah, we got one on the middle. Got one. Ultra light rock, got one. Oh, my God. Oh, jumbo... <laughs> jumbo yellow perch. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Woo. Almost lost my other rod. Look at that, y'all. Hold on, I gotta take, you gotta take Jesus. Jumbo yellow perch. That's what I'm talking about right there on the ultra light fleet fly rod. That feels good. What my theory is, if there's one, there's how many more? Just some more. <laughs> I don't know how many more. So we're going to stab this one right here in the bottom jaw just to keep them alive. Instead of putting through the gill because the gill is like real dangerous. So there we have. Whoa. Huge. <laughs> All right. So with the ultra light sitting at the bottom. All I did was just got a little small, not even a half an ounce of a sinker, um, going up to like maybe a foot, and it's like maybe like just a few inches off the bottom from the uh, bottom of that what's the name, man. Shana's gonna pass me another minnow. She's she's my uh, big helper here. Another one. Oh my God, he's large. No. Another decent one. That's real decent though. It's not as big as that last one, but guess what? They out here. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you get yellow perch right there. I still got that minnow out there, so it, something to hit that minnow. Man, look, off Nightcrawler. If they gonna bite, they gonna bite. You know what I mean? Just gotta get into the school and stay focused. Yeah, see, we only been hired for one hour, dude. Before we started getting bites, we was out here for like 45 minutes, so I started to get lose my hopes, and I'm just thinking like, you know what? I might have to find somewhere else to go or call it quits, but I just said, I'm gonna stick it out right here because I know that there's a possibility that there be um some fish biting and i didn't want to really waste my time on um guessing that it wasn't so i just decided to just stick around all right so we get on the bite on this one now i got the other one sitting on the ground because i'm about to uh rig that up because i snagged onto something and lost my line so well I lost my sinker and hook so 
I'm getting a bite on this one. I'm not exactly sure what it's doing down there, but it's definitely showing me some signs of it being a fish. Oh man, this little bitty dude caught us. Look at that. This little bitty thing, he come on. He bit that hard. He bit, he, ah, like get out of here. He took that rod up under the water and act like he was doing some crazy damage. All right, let's, come on, let's get that back out there. Cause, all right, man, dude, that little bitty dude went crazy on me like that. Man, that's a slap in the face, man. I feel like that thing was plant. Uh oh, come on. One thing about making these modified rigs, boy, you can get them twisted up quick, but usually when they off, they off, they good. Okay, so let's get this. Okay. All right. We got another one. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we didn't want to we didn't want to miss out on this one. He bit that kind of quick with that decent night crawler on there. So we're going to get him off of here. They like to shake when you get on them, so you be careful when you get that hook out their mouth because you don't want to cut yourself, stab yourself. You can see the decent ones, some of the decent ones I caught right here as we speak. You getting a, you getting a bite, getting a bite. Okay, so she said I'm getting a bite on there. I got to make sure I pay attention to that. <laughs> there you go. All right, see? Look and see what's going on here. See, I ain't making this up. Actually, real decent ones, one. especially that one over there. So, all right. Here you go, Shayna. Shayna, tying up for me. Don't drop my thing now. I'm not always right. Boy, I'll be, be hurt. I'll cry a little bit. Got a fish on. It might be a small one. Oh, this is a decent one. Ah, uh, look, dude. He swallowed. Look at that. Swallow my... I mean, he ain't large, but this is take home when you're fishing in places like this. I mean, if you see, if you technically see exactly... Because we ain't fishing in no jumble spot area, even though there are some jumble perch in here. Clearly. They just, they just, they hit and miss. Nope, nope, I got, oh, here we go, got one. Look at that, what? Instant. Dude, any, any swallow? Are you serious? Dude, I threw, I just, see, and that's just what that's what I'm talking about. They not eating on the minnows, and I don't know what, what it, what's the deal with that. I mean, they literally rather eat the night crawlers, and this is why I'm, like, tripping about this. They don't even want it, y'all. You listen to what I'm telling you. Shayna, how long have I been throwing out a minnow? <laughs> since we started. Dude, and I only caught that, the biggest one off of there. I haven't caught one since, right? All right, got another one. But we're going to throw him back here a little bit too, too small. Yellow perch, though. 